Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this 2016 Land Rover Defender 110 2.2 TDCI Adventure Edition that you can see lurking behind me there. Two videos, one walk around, one driving with a bit of uh, engine idling and uh, startup action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, so we'll look around this uh, rather magnificent 2016 registers, registered, so one of the very last ones. Land Rover Defender 110 2.2 TDCI Adventure Edition, one of the uh, limited editions that was uh, released for the, um, uh, the last of the line models. Uh, this one's a very late one, being a 16 plate. Uh, finished in Yulong White with um, black roof, black bonnet and black tailgate, as is correct. Um, it's got the correct wheels on it with a matching set of Goodyear Wrangler mud terrains as per original spec. Um, it's got the snorkel, uh, everything on it is basically original spec. Not been messed with at all and it has got full Land Rover main dealer service history as well this one. Take a slow walk around it. It's got mud flaps all around, obviously it's a seven seater. Um, it's got the premium interior these the, these adventure models with uh, um, leather door cards and leather dash top and stuff like that. So uh, Land Rover did make an attempt at um, uh, sort of making them higher spec and charge an awful lot of money for doing so. The um, individual rear seats are the forward facing folding type. It's got the proper and uh, rather unobtainable uh, underbody trims on it there. Um, it's got the proper adventure badging as well. Apologies, it's just started to rain, but uh, we'll do what we can. Um, Paintwork wise, very, very good. We've got a couple of, unfortunately now it's started to rain, you probably can't see them. A couple of tiny blemishes in the paint. You can just see them there in the center of the screen on the back of the bonnet. Otherwise around the front end, one or two minor stone chips, that's about it. Looking down the near side, she's beautifully straight. marks at all there. Really a lot of point in showing you the chassis on a 2016 model but we'll, uh, we'll do it anyway. Um, usual cracking around the screen blocks there. Uh, a bit of bubbling on on the screen block on this side, same on the other side as well. Um, unfortunately it's a Defender trait, can't do a lot about that apart from fit billet aluminium screen blocks. Um, We've got a couple of marks on the modesty covers on both sides, just from people getting in and out. There's one there, there's a couple on the back of the near side there, and there's a couple on the off side as well. It's one of the reasons people fit check the plate to them. As I say, uh, leather door cards, which you don't see on many Defenders. Um, the usual marks just down here from people, you know, doing that with rings on and stuff um, on the door card there. Otherwise, Leather is all very nice. The interior is lovely with its black Alcantara headlining. Doesn't smell nasty. It's got the excess premium heated seats in it in ebony black. It's got the correct stereo with Bluetooth, the Alpine system, and um, piano black center console there, and the uh, adventure style gear knobs, all fully carpeted inside. Near side rear door is all good from the outside. And say so leather covered again. Full leather in the back too and fully carpeted. No nasty pet smells or anything in this one. Near side rear wing is all good. And then under here. Around the tail end, normally we talk about electricity reaction and stuff on these, but apart from a couple of you know, discoloured bolts and stuff, um, there's not really a lot to criticise on the 2016 model. Although I did notice when you open this up, the um, finishing panel here is beginning to uh, corrode. That's just a screw-on panel that holds the carpet in, mind you. Um, all nice in the back. Apologies, our um, vacuum cleaner has packed up again. It's one of those bloody Dyson things that uh, forever keeps, um, switch keeps failing. So we haven't been able to vacuum it, but um, we'll sort that out before it goes out. 
one hopes. Um, what else can we tell you about it? Spares unused. Looking down the offside, again, beautifully straight and tidy. That's a fly. <laughs> um, offside rear wing is all nice. Oh, the wind stopped raining now. And then in here, Again, on the offside, same as the near side, there's a couple of marks on the modesty covers from people getting in and out and uh, rubbing the paint. Obviously, white is going to show a mark like that. Again, offside rear door card. And in here, all looks as it should. Driver's door's nice. A little bit of discoloration again around the bolts on the um, front door hinges. Is that a bit we've missed there, or is that a little blemish? Possibly a little tiny blemish just there. It's got its proper snorkel. No. Can't really see the... Yeah, screen block is bubbling slightly there, as you can see. And then inside, nice leather door card again, but again, a bit warm there, but uh, every one of these I've ever seen has got that. Just some people doing that. Um, even with these nice billet aluminium handles on. Driver's seat's in great shape. Dash is nice. The leather covered dash top is all quite nice. A little stain there that I didn't get off. That's come off now. Um, even got leather covered uh, steering wheel centre on it. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. It's the uh, one of a you know one of the collectible defenders, if you like. So there we have it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Um, or if you, if you go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for more details. Right, quick video of start up and uh, idle on this uh, 2016 Land Rover Defender 110 Adventure Edition. Make sure it's in neutral. As you can see, all the lights come up and go out as they should. Starts and idles nicely. It's nice and warm now. Puma 2.2 engine, just recently serviced by Land Rover. This one has actually unusually got full Land Rover main dealer service history. Um, I think it was serviced last month. No funny noises, doing exactly what it should. Forming just the way um, it's supposed to.